Hi, this is Sandeep Jali and Manos Brilakis presenting case 261 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a quote-unquote simple CTO. The patient presented with exertional angina was found to have anterior ischemia with a middle AD CTO and normal ejection fraction. The left was engaged with an EBU, the, se- the right with a 7 friends L1 guide, and this is a dual injection that demonstrates a CTO of the lady with a relatively blunt proximal cap. Length is fairly short, about 10 millimeters. The distal vessel is diffusely diseased, and uh, it is filling through septal collaterals from the PDA. So based on this, our plan was to go with undergrade wiring. If that didn't work, retrograde through septals. If that didn't work, ADR. ADR in general is the least favorable approach for LAD CTOs because of the risk of losing diagonals and other important branches. So we tried with a Corsair microcatheter and the wire was going in a different plane. We then used a Recross, which is a dual lumen microcatheter with two over the wire lumens. But unfortunately, despite trying to retract the guide wire, we're clearly not into the vessel. We're probably going into some septals proximal to the proximal cap. So after we tried for a while, we decided to switch to the retrograde approach. We uh, used a retrograde microcatheter tip injection. We do see that there are connections going to the LAD. This is the most distal connection that seems to be the largest. We tried with the SUO3, that didn't work, but eventually a Sion Black did the track through a septal collateral and uh, did advance uh, into the LAD. And actually, to our surprise, this um, retrograde wire easily crossed through the occlusion and went into the undergrade guide catheter. However, despite trapping the retrograde wire into the undergrade guide catheter, we couldn't get the retrograde microcatheter to track, and in the process, we lost uh, our position. And this is something to pay attention. Sometimes we focus too much on the microcatheter or the wire, and then we forget about the guide position, and then that may lead us to push a little too much, and then we lose everything, all the progress that we have achieved. So we repeated the process. This time we did use a a retrograde uh, guide extension into the right coronary artery, and then we used again a retrograde guide wire that um, crossed, But then we had difficulties with the retrograde wiring crossing the CTO. Unlike the first time, where it literally flew through, the second time the wire is knuckling, is not uh, um, really um, crossing into the uh, proximal LED. So eventually we changed guide wires, we tried Gladius, Mongo, we tried Sion Black, and eventually a 300 Sion Black retrograde was advanced into the undergrade guide catheter using a guide extension. But then we could not still get the microcatheter, so what we did is we put a snare inside the guide catheter and snared the Sion Black. But then after we did that, we did get better support and were able to actually advance the retrograde microcatheter all the way into the undergrade guide catheter. We externalized an R350, and then we did IVUS, and what we're seeing now is a very large hematoma. So unfortunately, all the undergrade and the retrograde attempts resulted in a fairly large hematoma into the LAD. We see the LAD is literally swimming within uh, the uh, large extra plaque hematoma. So what to do? We decided to stand in hopes that this will tack back the hematoma. And of course, it looks good in the standard segment, but the distal segment since uh, still looks uh, fairly compressed. What we know is for such hematomas, sometimes the cutting balloon can help decompress them. So we did inflations with the cutting balloon. And although it wasn't perfect, we did have undergrade flow, and we decided to not place any additional stents down the lady. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that although it seemed to be a simple, quote-unquote simple CTO, in reality, end up being fairly complex. So there is no such thing as easy CTOs. One should always approach even what appears to be simple with a lot of caution because it can easily and very quickly turn into something more complex. Number two, we had the situation of retrograde wire crossing, but the microcaster could not cross. 
Solutions to this are more support, for example, using a guide extension, anchoring the retrograde wire into the undergrade guide catheter, using a different microcatheter, ballooning. In our case, what actually solved the problem is snaring the retrograde wire, which was a 300 long wire, because we never snare short wires. After doing that, we actually had enough support and the retrograde microcatheter did cross to the LED, allowing externalization. Changing the strategy is critical, undergrade didn't work and retrograde eventually worked. And then we had an extensive extra black hematoma and using a cutting balloon can sometimes help decompress that hematoma. Thank you.